Hey guys, how's it going? Hope things are great with you. This video is for YouTube user JJ. Now JJ has asked me to elaborate or to give some idea on what is this D60 or Shashti Amsa chart is all about. Let's look at the word Shashti Amsa first. Now it's a concatenated word just like uh, you know most of the Sanskrit grammar. Words are in a very Sanskrit is a very crude form because of its ancient um, uh, you know the, the script itself is ancient so as such there are many words put together to form one particular logical meaning um, and this concatenation these words that are coming together sometimes can be confused misleading or even exploited by people so let's break it down Shashti Amsa Amsa means division okay Amsa means limbs or divisions um, um, Shashti itself has many connotations to it, but in this context, Shashti means lessons to be learned. Now, it also means punishment. If, if, you, if you understand the actual meaning of it, it also means punishments. So this chart, this D60 has something to do with punishment, something that, that we would learn from the actions that we have taken. Now, what does this tell you? It tells you it's about karma, right? Now, this chart is purely... Um, it signifies what are the actions that we have done in our previous birth, all right? Uh, and because of that, the consequences, the repercussions that comes through that in this birth, all right? Whatever they have done on the previous life, which was not been uh, learned, the lessons which has not been learned will be then deponed in this in this birth. Okay, so this depositions is is where the the call is prior of the karma. Right, uh, and the one that has happened is called a Sanchita Karma. Right? So this D60 actually gives us two things. Number one, it shows us the events that we did, you know, individually that we have done uh, in our previous lives or life, depending, uh, and you know what are the uh, you know the effects of it. You know, we could have hurt somebody's feelings, we could have killed an animal, we could have ruined a business. You know, depends. Depends to your chance. Uh, and because of that, uh, whatever they have done, of course, we cannot escape karma, right? Um, it, it is it is the uh, a, a law which is ancient and inexhaustible. You cannot just re replace karma with something, or you cannot reduce your karma. Whatever you have done will come to you, all right? Good or bad, we, we both will come to you. So the D sixty gives us a very good understanding, clear indications. We can see the events that happen. We can see what we actually did on our previous birth. It's a very interesting, um, it's, it's a little bit difficult to analyze this D60 chart. Um, but then if you go in, you know, if you look into the attributes of it, you learn so, so many things about your past lives. And of course, with that, you can map it with what's going on in, in this year birth. And then you can have a good understanding. Okay, I am going through this problem right now because this is, is what I've done and it's coming back to me now so it's fair that you know I've done that and it's coming to me both good and bad okay um, so charge amsa again charge team means punishments or lessons to be learned amsa means the division it's uh, the 60th division so which means you dissect the um, the d1 charge 60 times right the lagna is very 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 um, sensitive it's to be said that it's only two minutes right mathematically it's just two minutes the lagna will only recite in in this uh, d60 for two minutes so if your birth time is off or in skew for two minutes then it's all wrong so people who who does uh, uh, past life analysis birth and rectification um, you know it is essential to do a btr or birth time rectification now i do both past life analysis and btr if you're interested, the uh, if you click on the cons consultation link in the description section, it will take you to the page. Uh, so again, Sashti Amsa is the 60th division, uh, and it's very complex, which is why this particular division has 60 deities associated with it. Now, this is a new concept many uh, are not aware of. The, the Varga charts, the division charts, have deities or gods and goddesses associated with it. Now, these gods and goddesses um, have their attributes associated uh, with the Varga or the, or the uh, divisional chart itself. 
right? Just like the, let me see, um, the D12, the Dwadam Sachar, uh, it's ruled by Sarpa and Yama. Sarpa is serpent, right? Not the Nagas and also Yama, the Lord of Dharma. So, like that, their philosophical attributes will be then, um, uh, you know, embedded in these uh, charts. So, just like that, the D60 has 60, 60 uh, deities associated. So, you can understand how complex it is, how important it is. Now, the Vishwa Parashara, Sage Parashara has given a very high reference uh, for this uh, D60. It comes close, you know, hand in hand with the D1 charts. It's very, very important. But remember, as I said, if your time is off by two minutes, then you get all wrong. You know, your karma, your past life, nothing can be correct. Uh, the entire chart goes, um, it's just, uh, in, it's just out of uh, the, the, the precision of it. Right? Accuracy is very important, which is why the birth time rectification uh, is important. If you're really not sure of your time, it is important. This is why even like twins, right, if twins, uh, the, the Shakti Amsa is all different, even for twins, because of the two minutes difference. It creates an entire different uh, personality. All right. Um, what else I can talk about? So yeah, that's about it. So it's very really important. It gives us clues, indications who we were, what we have done, uh, and uh, and the depositions which are made in this birth and and the sort of karmic transaction or the payment, the karmic payment that we need to make uh, is seen in this chart. Uh, so. So that's a little bit about the, the D60. Uh, I hope JJ you like this video uh, and um, thanks to all. Namaste.